Hello, welcome back to Fox Lab, and I'm Basil. Today, I'm with an exciting tutorial about UD. Every year, Maxon releases a new version of Cinema 4D. There will be at least one guy, one guy asking about UD when it is going to release, how to do that in Cinema 4D. Actually, the UDIM is already in Cinema 4D and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Before we get carry on, you need Arnold or Redshift or any external renderer that supports node based system to do this. So without any further ado, let's go. Okay, we are with Cinema 4D R23 right now. You can use any version of Cinema 4D, I believe, at least up to R20. I tested it with R20 and it's working like a charm. But you need an external renderer like Arnold or Redshift. I don't have Redshift here. I tested it with Redshift. It's working. I have Arnold here. So we'll be using Arnold here. First of all, we need a model. We'll go to content browser and uh, search for this one. I search for human and uh, get to the first folder. There's this one and I'll load it by double clicking on it the materials are here i don't know why it's taking some time my model is coming yeah it's here we don't need all these splines uh, nerves and all that so we'll delete all of those for this tutorial purpose we just need the model and uh, we don't even need this hair teeth tongue and there's some reflection Pierce here we don't need that too we don't need this skin and there's a lot of tags here we just need this tag and maybe font tag and material tag will you can keep it the others we can delete those i'll delete this since this is a uv udim tutorial we need this to uv maps so let's keep it that way and before we go along with it we can save our project file before that i am going to remove delete unused materials and file save our project for this project i am taking save project with asset because we need our texture max inside our project file so i'll make a new folder and uh, i already did this here so i'll make a new folder with udim care root root zero two maybe i don't know i'll save it here you didn't yeah root. why not we'll save it there and if we look into that folder now this is my folder i'll look in that there's another folder and inside that there is our texture files and our project files and now let's go back to our project file and let's check our uvs for that i'll go to layout and change it to bp uv edit and here is our model and here is our uv space it's already unwrapped and arranged for that uv textures we just saved so we'll optimize a little bit more because we don't need all these objects we'll check with each object this is our shirt this is our trousers this is head this is eyes this is shoes and this is arms let's check with shirt and trousers first and it's not overlapping so we can collapse these two as one object so i'll right click and connect objects plus delete now let's check with the shoes and head it's overlapping so won't work eyes head it's it'll work and uh, let's select arms too these three are not overlapping so we can connect that but there will be a problem i don't know why is that happening my head keeps disappearing so i have no idea i think it's a bug i'll just collapse these two arms and eyes and leave the head alone now we go to shoes none of these can be collapsed anymore so we'll optimize that and save it again okay let's get on with our ud to do that we have to set our uv maps or you, this uv space in a certain way we'll get an image from google i just search for ud layout or you, you can search for ud name system or anything this is the ud layout the uv map you see here is actually this 1001 map this is a one into one square map this is the space we use in cinema 40 
UDIM has multiple UV sets on an object or multiple objects arranged in this way. First one will be this one and the second one on it will be on the right side of that and the next one is on the right side of that up to 1010 or 10 UDIMs will be like that. The next one will be starting on the top of our first UDIM sorry first UV map. Okay this is our layout structure you just have to know these names 1001 1002 1003 1004 and the 1011 will be starting from the top okay just remember those names everything else will be making sense after i work with this one okay we have our first 1001 uv sets the others won't be shown in this but we'll be calculating it in our mind okay we'll set our trousers or this is actually dress dress uv map here and uh, we'll take our head to next column to take this uv map to next column all we have to do is go to our uv maps transform section here we'll type one and press apply before that i forgot we have to select everything and press apply it'll move into the next column and uh, we'll go we'll do the same with the shoes but this time we'll apply two times because here this is our dress column the, here it will be our heads column the next one is our shoes and we need our skin textures Control a press press and that's our shoes space the next one will be our skin space okay we arranged our dress head shoes and arms if i select it all you can see it is arranged first one two three four columns it is 1001 1002 1003 and 1004 you have to remember those numbers this is 1001 1001 is actually our dress 1002 is our hat 1003 is our shoe 1004 is our skin so let's save it again and go back to our startup layout okay our character is set according to that and we can delete this now and we'll we'll be creating our own material with arnold i'll go to render settings and change into arnold render okay we'll create a material create arnold and surface you can see standard surface i just created an arnold standard surface and applied into this group we'll save it and uh, for arnold to work you know that with this ipr window you can't see anything we need a light object i'll just put a arnold sky object here and we, if you look at it we can see our object is here with our arnold material okay let's turn this material to udim material i'll open our arnold shader network and uh, let's load our texture here we'll go to that folder and with the texture this is our texture i'll take the first one and load it here i'll connect this to base color and uh, let's see what is happening here let's look at here let's look at our ipr window and here it is but all of the objects even the shirts and shoes are with our skin texture and it's wrong we need shirts and shoes and pants are different materials uh, skin for this material and uh, yeah and we need to use one single material for all of them so to do that we need to rename our textures according to the uv standard typing or oh, i don't know what it is called but <laughs> you need to change the name so we'll go with this one this is our skin texture we'll change that name to uh, let me check if i post our ipr window yeah it is now let's change this name to maybe color one zero zero one i believe no we did the cloth first then the head then this this will be one zero zero two this is why i told you to remember the 1001 1002 cds it is very important so first one it is actually this cloths we'll say We'll rename it with the same color, but 1001. Okay, this should be the same one. 
and the 1001 should be the only the different one okay we'll change the name to uh, i believe the shoes were the next one so we'll change that name to color 1003 and again the arms are same so i'll copy this one and uh, change its name to 1004 and that's it we set our udim materials name for our udim setup now if we go back to here and press play it will be black because there is no texture with that name i believe or maybe there is i don't know it's if i reload yeah it's missing the texture is actually missing we do. doesn't matter we change the name so we'll select our one of our textures any of this will work i'll take this one and load it here and it's here if we check into that ipr window it's working with our dress but our body and uh, shoes are missing so we'll go back to arnold shader now here is the magic we go to this texture file and change the image name to change this 1001 into something else and everything will work like a magic i'll change this one with a lesser than symbol u d i m and cross it with a greater than symbol that's all now our material is actually a udim material and if we go back to this ipr window and the press play and give it some time and it's here we only used one material but all our textures and materials are here with udim setup and that's how we set up udim you can do that with the normal map roughness map and everything i just did it with color map you can use all these maps like this but you have to remember that 1001 1002 1003 setup and uh, rename according to that you can download this map from google and uh, set according to that uh, once you get into it you won't be needing this map you will be you will know what comes work so yeah that's how you do udim in cinema 4d with arnold and it will work with redshift 2 so that's how you do udim in cinema 4d udim is a workflow a simple but powerful workflow that will make your life easier when there is a lot of materials and it's going to be a make a mess in that material panel so this is how you do it and before i forget like share subscribe and do that bell thingy bye